One of the commonly used but relatively controversial tools in video game development is level scaling. It's a mechanism used to keep a form of challenge by scaling elements of the game with the progress of the player, usually enemies or items. However, the tool does indeed come with its own set of challenges and criticisms. Let's talk about level scaling. At its very core, level scaling is designed to keep balance between the player and the game's world. Without it, the world may be too harsh and unforgiving in the beginning of the game for a rather adventurous type, while also being a cakewalk by the time the player reaches the end game. Rather than keep into design that could harbor two extremes at the end, scaling the game theoretically keeps the flow of a title in a happy medium. There are a number of different ways a game may be scaled to a player's progress. The most typical way is scaling to the player's level. As a bare bones example, a player at level 5 will find a level 5 monster in a specific area. At level 15, they'll find a level 15 of that same type of monster in that same area. Of course, it could get a bit more complicated. Suppose the world map is broken into several different areas, and each area has their own minimum and max level an enemy may spawn with. A low end area may have a minimum level of 5 and a max level of 10, causing a level 15 player to only face off against a level 10 mob. Another could have a minimal level of 90 and a max level of 100, causing a level 15 player to face off against a level 90 enemy in that area. Sometimes, the scaling may not increase the level of that specific spawn, but increase the quantity, such as a low level area summoning multiple versions of that level 10 creature. Other times, they may replace the enemy with another that serves a similar purpose as you level up. At level 15, you could be facing off with a different being, whether they're simply a stronger variant of the enemies you crushed before or have an attack pattern very familiar. In other times, the enemy's level isn't skilled, but their gear is, equipping stronger armors and weapons as you progress. Still weak, but able to hit harder. As stated, the main advantage of level scaling is the theoretical balance it can provide. From the player's perspective, the goblins at the start of the game are about as strong as the demon lords at the end of it. The challenge of a title is always constant. Some players are rather supportive of such a system for this reason, often citing that without level scaling, the end game can be boring for them, because they often feel like they become walking gods and they slay everything in their path. This theoretically consistent balance also can allow a player to explore rather freely. Without a balancing system in place, the player can stumble upon a cave harboring a high level ogre that completely destroys them in seconds. Or perhaps it could play to the other hand. A high level player with divine weapons may discover a cave with nothing but bandits and crappy bronze gear that isn't even worth selling off as vendor trash. With level scaling, that ogre may be replaced by orcs, and those bandits may be replaced by demon lords, wielding dark blades. Every bit of exploration may become viewed as worthwhile and not be too risky. And for the developers, these are reasons to use level scaling. While some could argue it's a bit of a crutch, creators can use level scaling without having to design an attendant path like other games. Perhaps this is why it's so common in open world games. Level scaling disregards how powerful you make yourself. You're still faced with a challenge in the narrative and by the game's open world. But that balance is also why many players are against it as well. It's too handholdy. While some players do enjoy constant challenges, for others, part of the fun is going from zero to hero, to start off as a nobody and become the personification of destruction. Progression can be a lot of fun for such players and level scaling reduces the impact of that progression. Everything getting strong along with you can make someone question what the point of leveling really is. Grinding becomes unnecessary and getting levels irrelevant. Why bother getting tons of experience to take on a dungeon to get ancient hero Rekka Scrub's golden divine axe when the dungeon will be skilled to your level? Of course, level scaling with areas that have floors and ceilings do mitigate this issue to some degree, but these various forms of level scaling do need to be properly implemented. When they're not, they can be frustrating and can play against a player rather than being the unguided pass system. Oblivion is a common example where bandits will wield Daedric equipment, despite how they were supposed to be simple road robbers. Or Skyrim, where enemies would scale while you level, even if you practice non-combat skills only. When not properly implemented, it can actually discourage the desire to level and grind, making players not want to actually partake in much of the content the game has to offer. If practicing specific skills 
or getting their main number bigger actually works against the player, why do it? Perhaps these systems are honestly the result of a larger criticism, one that points out how the world is so focused on revolving around the player. It can actually be an immersion breaking experience. Why do species of animals become extinct because the player merely got stronger? Why do bandits care how much the player can lift? Why does loot care about who is opening the chest? You, the player, are not forced to adapt the world, but the world is forced to adapt to you. The artificialness of an artificial world becomes significantly more apparent. Now, my own thoughts. If you watched my channel before, you likely already know that I personally dislike level scaling, but as a content creator, I often try to show arguments for and against a subject in a fair manner, and this one is no exception. And while I don't like level scaling, I understand it's not an objectively bad mechanic, as like most things in games, it's subject to, well, subjectivity. But I find myself in a camp of not liking my hand held and would rather adapt to the environment that I enter rather than the environment adapting to me. Still, I don't think all forms of level scaling are bad, and I'm quite open to it in the case of MMOs. Many players means balance is an issue, and even in single players, I can see some cases where they can have their place. While a wolf shouldn't care about how large my muscles are and how many things I kill before stumbling upon it, I can actually see factions that view my character as priority enemy number one for narrative reasons, working double time to train more powerful soldiers to take me on. Those cases, I think it makes sense. Not bandits, but militaries. And some of my favorite games do have level scaling. Some are better about hiding it than others, but still have it as a mechanic. Is level scaling really a big issue if I knew nothing about it and don't notice it in GTO's generic fantasy game? Probably not. Perhaps, for people like me, it's more of a concept that gets to us rather than the actual logic behind it or implementation. Maybe ideology often overrules practicality. That's not to say there isn't real issues behind poorly implemented level scaling, there definitely is. But letting the idea of something turn off the fun probably isn't healthy. Still, that's my own take. What are yours? What's your thoughts on level scaling?